Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another chapter of For the Rest of Our Lives. Chapter 2. Nang bumukas ang pinto ay hindi mapigilan ni Shanshan na mapatulala sa kaandahan ng nasa harapan niya. There did. Hey Shan, why are you so stunned? Say hello to your aunt Shao. Anshao? Anshao is even more beautiful than before and I couldn't help but stare. So you're gonna call me sister too? Even though your aunt Shao is 11 years younger than me, she's of my generation. Jeez, alright mom, you sent me up. Aren't you going to have a meeting this afternoon? Can you make it in time if you don't clean? Sister, here's our spare key. Take one too, so you can visit Lingshan anytime. Okay, then I'll go. Suddenly, the atmosphere became quiet. Being alone with Aunt Xiao, I'm really not used to it. Let's enjoy living together. So we may in love with the Shan Shan Come on, let's go to your new room. I'll help you sort out your things. No need and show, I'll do it myself. Organized na room ni Shan Shan. Simula na siyang ipail ang kanyang mga books sa bookshelf. Then pati yung mga damit niya sa maleta, nilagay niya niya sa cabinet. Shan Shan, it's okay for you to put your clothes like this, but I have a better suggestion. Would you like to hear it? Actually, I know I think it's wrong to put it like that. And so I think I'm going to have to, to ask you to help me. Sure. As for clothes, let's sort them out first. Then the rest of the stuff will go to the supermarket later. I'm going to buy you sleepers, teacups, towels for the house. It's just a pair of sleepers for the guest. You can't wear public sleepers in your own house. Okay. There's a bus stop down in the street from the neighborhood. Here's seven stops away from the school. There's a bookstore about 300 meters down the road, and then there's a supermarket. And the shell is there a breakfast place near the bus stop? That way, I can get breakfast on my way to school. Hmm, don't you want to eat my breakfast? I'm telling you, I'm pretty good at cooking. No, it's not a show. My morning class is too early. If you're the one who makes breakfast, you have to get up. Too. I don't usually sleep in late. Besides, the breakfast outside is not as nutritious and healthy as the one at home. I will pass you soon at the time. And show you can only come to me. Then I'll wait. But aren't you a little too tall for that? Would you consider growing over three centimeters? Then when I'm 3 centimeters taller than you and Shao, you can stop feeding me and press the pause button for me. <laughs> 